Hi, I'm Buddha Dave. Let's have a cup of tea and talk about why it's hard to meditate. Most people today find it very difficult to meditate. A lot of times we hear them say, I don't have time. <laughs> you don't have time to overcome all your suffering and attain eternal life? I mean, really. The actual reason why people can't meditate goes back to school. The training that you got in school has given you five severe types of aversion that stop any attempt to meditate. They are aversion to learning skills because of aphasia, aversion to following expert instructions because teachers are role models for failure, aversion to solitary activities driven by groupthink conditioning, aversion to creative thinking. Meditation is an art. You can't follow a procedure and aversion to inner life because of forced extroversion. We'll go through these one by one. Aphasia means a partial or total lack of comprehension of written or spoken language. Most people who have been to school have a mild case of chronic aphasia caused by years and years of piling up misunderstood terminology. We go into this in depth in our video on effective study techniques. And you should also read an article called Lost in the Meritocracy. Look it up on Google. The subtitle is How I Traded an Education for a Ticket to the Ruling Class. It's on the Atlantic site. Very illuminating. Let's take a look at teachers. Most teachers are losers or at best runners up in the game of education. If you look at the graduate record exam, the examination that determines who gets into graduate school, most teachers don't make it. They flunk out because of low scores, both in the verbal and math departments of the test. So you spent 12 of the most formative years of your life being verbally abused and bullied by an incompetent loser. No wonder you have resistance to following instructions because most of the instructions you've been given have been given by incompetents who did not have your best interest at heart. Now let's talk about groupthink. School is not really about education. It's social conditioning. If you don't believe me, then look up John Taylor Gatto, a 40-year veteran of education who was twice named Teacher of the Year in the New York public school system. Now he researched the origins of the government mandated education, which by the way is only about a century old. And what he found convinced him that the whole thing was to simply create a supply of workers for factories. And he calls education, public school education, a 12 year jail term. You have been trained in groupthink to do everything in a group. It's very hard for people trained in school to do anything individually or to have initiative. You meet all the time. Workshop meditation group, huh? retreat group at the, some monastery or other. Why? The Buddha told us to practice in solitude, and that's much more effective. Now, have you ever taken a class in school that encouraged you to do original work? Unless you made it to graduate school, probably not. Did you ever have a class in school that allowed you to structure your own time? or that rewarded you for original thinking? Most people have to say no. But meditation is an art. Meditation is a creative act. You are literally creating your future self and letting go of past selves that are just holding you back and causing you suffering. So you have to be creative. You have to be capable of art. You have to be capable of original work to meditate successfully. And that's one reason why people avoid it. Finally, Extroversion. School punishes introversion and rewards extroversion. You have to be ready anytime the teacher calls on you to respond intelligently. Huh? Getting to and from class, going through the hall, navigating the bullies and the social clingers uh, and the whole popularity contest and all that nonsense. School forces us to be extroverted because that's the way it's designed. So we can't sit down and go inside and be content in our own little solitude, our own little reality. But that's actually the safest place to be, deep in meditation. 
Close the doors of the senses. Go inside. You have your own little world. You can do anything. These are five reasons that people can't meditate effectively. And these are trained into us by school. So you might say, well, I haven't been in school in a long time. I'm out of school. I have a job and uh, I work for a company and this and that. Well, what's the difference? The teacher has become your boss and the other workers are like the other students. All the same games are going on. The same nonsense is there. Being in the work environment re-stimulates all of these qualities, these bad habits trained into us by schooling. So you have to make a determined effort to actually overcome these bad mental habits. It's no wonder people can't meditate. All the training they've had in their formative years goes against it. You have to make a determined effort to overcome these bad qualities. Otherwise, you're always going to have trouble sitting down and meditating. Finally, I'd like to leave you with a poem that I wrote this morning after my meditation. There's no one and nothing on this earth from which I would not gladly part to win the pearl of infinite worth upon the lotus of my heart. May all beings be safe and happy. May all beings come to realize the four noble truths. And may all beings attain ultimate enlightenment. Om Namo Buddhaya. <laughs>